Those whom the Father gives to Jesus will come to Jesus. All the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never cast them out. You're not one of Jesus' people because you came to Jesus and trusted in him. You came to Jesus and trusted in him because you are one of his people. See what I'm saying? You see what the verse says? It doesn't say since you came to Jesus, God, the Father is giving you to God the Son. No. All the Father's given me will come to me. They're not. And then they will. Because I've chosen. Because I have given them eternal life. In John 10, 27, Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. It doesn't get much clearer than that. But talking to these people, he's like, you don't follow me because you're not one of my sheep. The ones the Father has given me, I'm the good shepherd. They know me. I call them, come, and they do. And they follow me. You can't get around this if you read the Bible. If you read it honestly, you can't get around God's sovereignty in the saving of sinners and the reconciling of sinners to himself. Jesus does not say that because his people come to Jesus and believe on Jesus, God therefore gives them to the Son. No. Those whom the Father gives to the Son come to the Son. He secures their coming. He works their coming. He guarantees their coming. When you came to Christ, God brought you. When you believed it was God opening your eyes, when Jesus was understandable to you, you didn't make Jesus look all satisfying to your heart. God did. He did that. And when he did, you came freely, without all your resistance, with all of your resistance overcome. You didn't come, or you're not one because you came, you came because you are one. Three, those who come to Jesus will be eternally kept by Jesus. Jesus saves us and keeps us. If you have any thought, if you are in Christ, if you see Jesus as supremely valuable, you've come to him trusting in what he's done, if you have any thought that you can lose that standing, be free from that. There is nothing on this earth that you did to be chosen. There is nothing that you did to be God's people. And there's nothing you can do to not be his people. Whoever comes to me, I will never cast them out. Not whoever comes to me and stays with me and never goes away, I will never cast out. And say, if they truly come to me, I'm never going to cast them out. This is what we call perseverance of the saints. That those who come to Christ, he keeps them because he actually authored their coming. He saves us by grace and keeps us by grace and he takes us to be with him by grace. It's all a gift and it's all not about you. It's about God and his glory and his revealing how wonderful, how sovereign, how beautiful he is in saving these estranged people that hated him. He conquers his enemies by making his enemies his sons. This is the gospel. If you have any idea or any thought that you could lose your salvation, be free. If you see Jesus, if you trust in his finished work, you are his forever. You're not his because you were good enough. You're his because he wanted you. You're his because he chose you. You're his because he gave you to Christ.